All right, I thought I'd make a quick video about a ESP32 expansion board. Uh, we're looking at it here on the right. It's a 38-pin expansion board. Um, works well with the ESP32 room um, dub board, which also has the 38 pins. Um, and the thing to note about this uh, expansion board is it does have a 5-volt regulator. It has uh, three positions for power input. There's a um, barrel jack, which takes from 6.5 volts to 16 volts in, the old style USB uh, connector, and a USB-C. So any of those for um, your 5 volt input supply. And um, so I'm connected with my barrel connector and coming in with 12 volts. It's uh, regulated down to 5 volts. I have my multimeter connected up to ground and to the red pins here, the power pins. And you can see we're getting 5.028 volts. Um, and that's because I have the jumper here connected to the 5 volt jump position. So you see if I unplug that, now we get nothing to the power pins. So these three pins here are basically used to control whether we get 5 volts or 3.3 volts as our, um, our voltage to the power pins. There's also a VCC set of pins over here, um, which will also get the 5 volts or 3 volts depending on uh, which position this jumper is in. And then there's uh, 5 volt pins over here, two of them, and two 3.3 volt pins over here along with a set of ground pins. Um, these 3.3 volt pins will only get power if the jumper is in the 3.3 volt position and the ESP32 is plugged in. So you'll never get 3.3 volts out of this board until you plug in the ESP32. In other words, it's relying on the ESP32's voltage regulator to produce the 3.3 volts. So let me put this in the 3.3 volt position. You can see I'm connected to my multimeter to ground and power and we're getting nothing in the uh, red pin. So now let me just plug in the ESP32 and you should see the voltage come up. So there we go. Now the ESP32 is producing a 3.3 volts. It's actually produced on this pin here and that's connected to this pin over here. So when you put the jumper in position, um, it sends that 3.3 volts to the red pins. Also sends it to VCC over here and also makes it available to these two pins over here. So you'll only see 3.3 volts if you plug in your ESP32. There are other versions of this breakout board that have a switch. Um, and I, I don't have it, but I believe that that one may support a voltage regulation down to 3.3 uh, volts as well as 5. But in this case, with this particular uh, breakout board, um, it only supports 5 volts as a regulated power and 3.3 volts is coming from the SP32 itself. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.